Welcome back to Plants Not Plastic. I'm Nikita and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple potato salad that is delicious, inexpensive, simple, healthy, whole foods, plant-based, low-fat, and oil-free. I'm on a summer recipe kick and if you saw my video from last week, we made pasta salad. This week we're using a similar potato-based sauce in place of mayo to make the other well-known summer side dish. Before we jump into the recipe though, if you are not already subscribed and you like this video, click the subscribe button and the bell so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. I release new content weekly, would love to have you stick around and appreciate your support. So here's everything you'll need to make this recipe. I'll also leave everything in the description box below along with a link to the blog post with a printable recipe card. I also mentioned in last week's recipe that adding cashews to the potato sauce will make it a bit richer and creamier, but you can leave it out and still have these dishes come out awesome. And today, I'm gonna prove it to you by going without the nuts. If you wanna include them though, soak them in hot water for 30 minutes to soften them up before adding them to your sauce. I'm a skins on girl when it comes to potatoes, so I peel two potatoes for the sauce and leave the rest with skins on, dice them all, and then throw them into two separate pots peeled and unpeeled. For the peeled sauce potatoes, bring them to a boil and simmer for 10 to 15 minutes until they are fork tender and break apart easily. For the salad potatoes, the unpeeled ones, bring them to a boil and simmer for eight to 10 minutes until you can scur them with a fork, but they don't easily fall apart. This is so they hold together when we mix everything later. While your potatoes are cooking up, prep your veggies. Dice the onion, slice the celery, and dice your pickles or get the jar of relish handy. When the potatoes are cooked, Drain and reserve the liquid from your sauce potatoes, then completely drain your salad potatoes and set them aside to cool, either on the counter, in the fridge, or in the freezer, depending on how much time you have. To make the sauce, add your sauce potatoes to the blender with your spices and flavors. Garlic powder, pepper, salt, optional cayenne and agave, lemon juice, mustard, and the sauce potato cooking water. Blend on high until you get a smooth, even sauce with no lumps. Adding more water if needed, but just enough to get it smooth while still keeping it thick. Grab a mixing bowl, add your potatoes, the sauce, and then your veggies, starting with the smaller amounts first and adding to your own taste from there. If your potatoes are warm and you can't really tell how happy you are with the end result, I recommend chilling it first before adding more onion, celery, and relish. Chill it in the fridge for at least an hour and then we're ready to open it up, make any final adjustments, and then serve up a side before digging in. This potato salad has all those traditional flavors that potato salad lovers love. It's rich, potatoey, fresh, and refreshing. It's got mild flavor, it's filling, and it acts as the great side we all know it to be for other summer favorites. If you are looking for more summer dishes this season, check out my full playlist for inspiration on what to pair it with. For how it stacks up against an alternative, you can check out the full nutrition label on the blog that links up to Chronometer. This recipe though is the same as all my others. When comparing it to a non-vegan or processed vegan option, without specialty items or animal products, it will cost you less to make. With plant-based ingredients, it'll have more fiber and without oil or butter, you get to eat more of it for the same number of calories. So that's it for today's recipe. If you try it out, let me know in the comments. You can also subscribe to my blog for recipes right to your inbox and connect with me on social media for day-to-day -day content. Also, if there is something you would like me to make, let me know in the comments as well. I'm always looking for new inspiration and would love to make something that you are looking for. And don't forget to subscribe, click the bell, give this video a thumbs up, and come back next time. Bye!